Nobody should play with the fire. Legally, I am the authority because people have voted to me. Now you know that India has predated the aggressor, a country that has never reconciled herself to Pakistan, has committed naked aggression for the third time on the part of our Well, surely that the massacre there stops, the rape stops. Do you think people are going to sit aside and watch their women raped in front of them? Well, well, what, Captain? How did the meeting with General Niazi go? Splendidly, I guess. Two old dogs of war talking about how the world has changed. And then I told him he had 30 minutes to sign the instrument of surrender, or else. So we were here to negotiate a ceasefire <laughs> under UN regulation, not a surrender. Slight change of plan, Captain. Slight change of plan. General, for the sake of official records, I'll have to minute that meeting. What happened in there? Well, I walked in and... Uh... How's your boss, Tika Khan? General Tika Khan, bolo. <laughs> Why the formality, Niazi? You know, he used to be a student of mine in 47. He was rash then and looks like nothing has changed. <laughs> okay, chaddo pare. Let us come to the point. Kam di gal kar deya. So, I am ready for ceasefire under UN mandate. That's good. I know. Let me complete. Handover of government to UN and then withdrawal of troops under UN. Clear? It's very clear, but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to get your signature on this document. What is this? An instrument of surrender. Say it again. An instrument of surrender. <laughs> you will sign this document and vacate this territory under protection of the Indian Army. The Bengali government has been set up in exile and the Indian Army will hand over this territory to them. I gift me wrap karke Lahore bhi de <laughs> <laughs> मैं ढाका लूँगा। बस, बस ढाका से काम चल जाएगा। अच्छा ठीक है। हेलो ढाका, ढाका। ले लो। ढाका क्या? अखरोट बादाम है जो मैं आपको दे दूँ, हैं? Kamal, Mr. Jacob. Khair, jokes apart. Leave this place now. While you still can. Otherwise, Ikvi Hindustani Zinda Bachke Nai Jayega Yaha Se. East Pakistan belongs to me. And Dhaka is my... 
fortress. Kill her. Understand? I understand, and that is your biggest mistake, Niyazi. East Pakistan, as you call it, belongs to the Bengali people. And fortresses, as we've been taught by history, fortresses fall, and Dhaka will too. Thirty thousand Pakistani troops defense only Dhaka. Twenty six thousand four hundred actually, and another eighty thousand troops scattered here and there in the territory. The Mukti Bahini keeps us well informed. You have thirty minutes to sign this document. If you do not comply, you will be solely responsible for the fate of your soldiers. <laughs> so thirty minutes to surrender, and that was like fifteen minutes ago. What kind of tactic was that, General? Reason is not a tactic, Captain. I just reasoned with him as best as I could. General, we are outnumbered one is to ten. This could be a disaster. Then Sam can court martial me as soon as this damn war is over. But for now, this will have to do. So this is Pakistan we are talking about. They don't even go to play cricket without turning into some kind of holy war, and there is a lack of them armed with American and Chinese weapons. What really makes you think that they'll just surrender? Fifteen more minutes, then we'll know. Either this war will be over, or I will have made the biggest mistake of my life. So when you say that you reason with the man, what did you actually say? The truth. Nothing but the truth. I reject your offer. Leave this tent now. The Fauja. We will fight you for the next thousand years, Inshallah. Get out. Ten or twelve days, Niyazi. That's how much longer you can fight. You see, because of our on-ground intelligence, we know. We know how many you are. We know where all you are. We know what weapons you have, how much ammunition you have left, and after that, it's a simple question of mathematics. Ten to twelve days is how much longer you can fight. And meanwhile, you have no help coming to you. Karachi Harbour is under naval blockade by the Indian Navy. Overflights have been blocked by the Indian Air Force. And as much as you might wish it, the Yanks are not coming. You have no help coming to you from land, sea, or air. We've seen to that, and the Mukti Bahini is cutting through you like a hot knife through butter. You have no choice. You bloody Indians, salo kutto, dhoke bazi aur daga bazi karke jeete ho tum salo hamesha, hamesha. Wo kaise? Who created Mukti Bahini? Who trained them? Hathiyar kis ne diya unko? Aur jo yaad is Pakistan mein jo civil war ho raha hai, it's all because of you, bloody you. Again, Niyazi, it's not East Pakistan. And how dare you accuse us of creating the Mukti Bahini? Who created the Raza Cars? Who executed Operation Searchlight? Who murdered three million Bengalis and raped their women? No, we did not create the Mukti Jodha. You did. When you denied him his right to self-determination, when you pillaged his land and killed and raped his family. I keep telling you, this is not East Pakistan. This is a proud Bengali nation, and you are nothing but an occupying force. I will not. I will not.
to surrender in my life. Never. <laughs> Niazi, it's already happened. You're just not aware of it yet. Take a minute to understand what I'm trying to tell you. 10 to 12 days is all you can fight. And when the last Pakistani bullet has been fired, the Mukti Jodha will emerge from the bushes, from the jungles, from the rivers. He will even rain down upon you from the skies. He will come with his pickaxes and his shovels. Wave after wave of the Bahini will come crashing down upon you. And at that point in time, I will be left with just one decision to make. Whether to send in the Indian army to protect you, or just move aside and let the Mukti Jodha have his revenge. Let him do to you what you did to him. Think about it. Think about every war crime committed on these lands. And think about just how steep that vengeance will be. <laughs> Sign this document. And I give you my promise as a soldier. I will observe the Geneva Convention. Your troops will be protected. There are 100,000 Pakistani soldiers here. Far too many good men to be slaughtered on the altar of your ego. <laughs> Anything else? You have 30 minutes. And yes, Niazi, one more thing. You and I are soldiers. If we die here, it's just an occupational hazard. But I know some of the officers have their families with them. Women, children, innocent non-combatants. When the Mukti is unleashed, they will be merciless. Think about it. General, have you accepted my offer? General, will you sign the document? General? I take your silence for a yes. Wait a minute. M make it a private ceremony. It will be a public surrender. No! You will do nothing of the sort. Far too much blood has been spilt to brush this under the carpet. It will be a public surrender and you will order your troops to give the Indian army a guard of honor. These are my terms. Prepare the race course grounds for the surrender ceremony. Order our troops to seize all hostilities immediately and uh, call General Manikshaw. Tell him that 
Jake said, it's bloody humid in Bangladesh. जंग के मैदान में ऐसी बहादुरी दिखाने वालों के लिए सल्यूट तो बनता है सोनी लिव वी लिव टू एंटरटेन डाउनलोड द ऐप